All right, guys, check this out. Oh. Brand new from Team Red is the new M18 Fuel. One key compact thread. Now, I'm not going to be doing any pipe threading today in this video, so if you don't want to watch, stop now. But I will show this a lot from my job sites as soon as I get a chance. Check it out over on Instagram, here on YouTube, you name it. So, this is the new M18 Compact Threader. I've had the M18 full size threader that came out in 2019 for a few years. This baby's got some miles on it. I'm very impressed with this. It's very rugged, very capable of threading so many uh, cuts up to two inch pipe on a single battery. You'd be impressed if you've never seen this in action. It's got some cool tech built into it, but let's just compare the two. So if you look at the two in size, significantly smaller with this compact bottle, but you also lose capacity with the compact. This will not thread up to two inch pipe like its larger, uh, older brother, right? This will go up to inch and a quarter. Now that's gonna be schedule 40. You can do, you can get dies set up for, um, you know, conduit, things like that. But schedule schedule 40 steel, whether it's black, galvanized um, pipe, you can do up to inch and a quarter with this compact threader. Significantly smaller, kind of a one-handed tool. You can hold it above head like that pretty easily. As you can see, that's with no battery, no die head in it. Uh, size comparison, significantly smaller. Weight, not even comparable. Let's look at what they've included with this compact uh, threader though. They've, Milwaukee's got into the die making game. Now I'm not sure if they're making these or they're OEM. However, this is a new compact all aluminum cast die set included with this kit. So you're not gonna be buying this in a bare tool unless you have the dies that are gonna fit it. Okay, as you can see there. I think that might be like an OO, like an OR style. I'm not exactly sure. Doesn't matter. These are Milwaukee's branded all aluminum dies. So aluminum uh, head, not teeth, of course, not, a, not the actual die, cutting dies. This kit is uh, includes two XC80 batteries, which is a huge uh, value there. Those are excellent batteries. Then you've got your pipe clamp. Now, they do have auto stop in these tools which I think is really cool. You're not gonna be standing on top of this thing and flip you over. You're not gonna to need to pin it up against the ceiling like the old uh, 700 machines, but it will end it, so it will stop. It's like a clutch kind of system. But you're gonna to wanna to use the clamp system on your pipe. Very simple to use, very fast to set up. I think the clamp in the original looks like they aren't the same. The compact looks like it's the same, like, same width and everything, but it does have a shorter shank and it isn't going to have the capacity to go up to two inch. They must have, they must have re, uh, machined this, redesigned so that you couldn't clamp it onto a two inch pipe, I suppose. That would be my guess on that. Otherwise, uh, this clamps onto your pipe and then this shank is going to fit through the hole right above the handle here. You're gonna slide it over the pipe there. It's gonna hold it in place. It's very, it's a, it's a very nice uh, design. There's a couple other threaded threaders, batteries on the market that I don't think have as nice of a clamp system as Milwaukee's. That's my personal opinion. Uh, charger case, of course, as you can see. Now these die heads. Here's the inch and a quarter. It just snaps in and out of here. So you can put it on either side if you'd like. Um, and then there's a lock. So you turn this black wheel on the next to the die there to lock it in place. So that's locked, I can't pull it out. Unlock it, pops right out like that. It's not a friction fit like the 12R style dial dies um, that fit the larger machine. Okay, enough of that. Now, a couple things about the dies. Cast aluminum, 
These are cast, uh, these are machined and cast iron both. So now what you're looking at uh, with a 12R style die head is uh, these are old, these are gonna be able to fit your other equipment. This is a very universal style, style die. This is a different kind of interface there. So not the same with the compact threader. Which brings us to the next tool that is just coming out from Milwaukee. Let's just set that aside there. This pack out box here was sent to me as a sample to show you the new forged aluminum die heads from Milwaukee. Now this is the 12R style, okay? So this is a two inch cast that I've got in my kit here. And this is a two inch forged aluminum. And yeah, I mean, half or less of the weight. Um, size wise, they're the same. And they're gonna be because of the capacity, right? So this is the two inch, I wish I had my, wish I had a scale here. Wouldn't that be helpful? But um, Milwaukee's got this now available, their own branding of a forged aluminum from, th this kit has a half up to two inch, so half, three quarter, one, one and a quarter, one and a half, and two. Uh, there's calling it the in industry's lightest die heads. They do say it is 50% lighter. Without having a scale here, I'm not gonna be able to verify that, but I can tell you, yeah, let's call it 50%. Um, cool little kit here from Milwaukee, I guess in this pack up, it's got this insert, which is nice if you're running the system. You can just it on an existing kit, that's pretty cool. Um, so there, so in summary, Ultimately, what you're going to see the difference in this system is cost. Uh, the, the larger unit is going to cost you a little bit more. But it is also going to be threading pipe up to two inch. If two inches, if this is more than you need, if you're doing a lot of like small residential repair, if you live and work where I do, where we have uh, high pressure gas systems, uh, a lot of smaller diameter iron pipe for gas, which is really nice which will allow, you know, kind of open up to this size tool in comparison. This might be all you need, uh, or you might want to have both uh, more of a service grab and go kind of tool, and then maybe this is one that's going to stay on maybe an install truck or something like that. So hopefully this is helpful. Check this out. Check out Milwaukee's M18 threaders. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot of miles on that full size, and I mean hundreds of threads. And it's never actually acted up one bit. I've never had a single issue with this. Uh, of course, I've never had any issues with these old 12R dies. I uh, have not used the new Forge Aluminum. Uh, I'm interested in that. They are lighter. It would be nice to see kind of a comparison. I'd, I'd like to see how well they cut. Uh, dies are very, very important. Of course, you don't want to have a failure ever. Uh, the quality of those those cutting teeth, the, the die itself, um, the quality there is paramount. It, you cannot uh, accept anything less than as good as it gets, really. So we'll, we'll see that. We'll give it some time. I have no idea how these are going to perform. I have an idea that this threader itself is going to be very nice, to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of calling it there. I'm not sure. I have to use it, of course. But based off of the performance of the original, the full size up to two inch model, that thing has been, like I said, flawless. I'm, I'm interested to see this. Uh, first things first for me, if I were to bring this onto the van, uh, I would immediately scrap this blow mold case. That's not a, that's not a dig on Milwaukee. That's not trying, I'm not trying to be negative there, but I would tell you that this just takes up way too much space for me. I don't have space like this available on my van. I would get it to fit in some kind of pack up box that would integrate into my stacks or into my crates. This might actually fit. I don't think it'll fit fully in a crate. I don't have any empty ones here to try it. Let's see here now. They're all full on the van. Uh, I'll have to empty out a, van, a crate and just kind of see. I know it's not gonna like bury itself and I could be able to put a a crate on top of it, but it probably fit in there pretty nice. Then you can throw your dies in there, maybe a battery. I think I keep my battery separate for, oh, of course the clamp. 
I keep my batteries separate from it. They've got a rubber gasket in here to keep the oils away from the batteries. That is important um, if you didn't know that. But I would probably ditch the case personally so I could make better use of the space that it takes up on the van. Um, it is nice. It is well organized as you can see there. This is interesting. I am, uh, I am interested to see how the forged aluminum dies overall work, uh, both types. And because if these are uh, as reliable as they need to be as, 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 and cut as well as I need them to, uh, then I might be able to shed these older models here that are, that are well, according to that, 50% heavier. Um, so it would be nice to have this kit on the van because of the integration already into the packup. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you, I'm going to, like I said, I will get these in use, get some video of that. I'll give you some feedback as we come back to these. But I want to just give you a first look at them, let you know they are available. They're available now. Uh, so check out wherever you buy your Milwaukee stuff if this is interesting to you. If you have questions on the full-size unit or my experience with it, like I said, it's been nothing but positive, but I can give you some individual answers if you're looking for them. So I appreciate it. If you like this video, please share it, please subscribe. Check out uh, all of our social media, at Mechanical Hub, over on Instagram, or on TikTok, and then of course, mechanicalhub.com, our website. Thanks, have a good day.